Hey friends, my name's Annette, Sunbeam Fabric Art. Welcome to my channel. Do you ever have a day when you don't want to think, you just want to sit down at your sewing machine and sew? You don't want to measure, you don't want to trim to a certain size. Sometimes I have those days and I'm going to show you a little project I've done that requires very little measuring, very little thinking. You can just sit down and sew to your heart's content and then cut blocks to the finish, final size that you want. So, so let's uh, get started. The first thing I did was take my old sheet. I am working with a big old sheet and there's no way to sit that down to the sewing machine and just start sewing. So I did cut this one into four inch strips. This pretty mid-century sheet set I found at a garage sale or a thrift store, I really don't remember, but I did cut the elastic off the fitted sheet and I continued cutting those four inch strips. Next, I dug into my scraps and pulled out anything that looked like a strip and I sorted them out into loose color families, light, dark, red, pink, orange, yellows, blues, and greens. I also had a couple of scrap pieces that I just cut with my scissors. I didn't worry about whether these cuts were straight. I just cut them apart and added them to my piles. The next thing I did was take various strips of color families and I started sewing these strips end to end together. The reason I did this is my sheet strips were so very, very long, I did not want to have to keep cutting those while I sewed, so I wanted these color family strips to be nice and long. And here you can see how I'm chain piecing these together. I'm just taking the tail end of the one I just sewed on, putting another piece right side to that, and I just keep adding on and adding on and adding on until I'm done with that color family. And you may also notice these widths of these strips are not the same. I am not at all worried about that right now. At the end of each color family, I simply snipped the threads holding all those pieces together. Now it was time to pick a color family and start sewing right sides together, my sheet strip and my color strip. As I sewed these strips, since the strips were not all the same width on those color strips, I would just make do, slide it over, make a curve in my stitch line. I didn't really worry too much about making it super straight. After round one, I pressed the seams open on all the strips. I did not press again until I was all done sewing strips on. This is your project, so press if you want to or wait till the end if you want to. I continued sewing strips to each prior strip. Once I had used up all those color family strips, I did go to the ironing board and I pressed these strips flat. If you look closely, you're going to see that these lines are a little bit wonky. There are some angles, there are some bows, and I am not worried about that right now. 
I was not worried about a specific block size here. I just wanted to make the biggest block I could make. So with my ruler, I measured and these blocks came out to either eight inches, nine inches, or 10 inches, depending on how the width came out based on my strips. And you may also notice I am trying to keep as much of the sheet fabric on my block as I can. Once I was all done trimming blocks, I had quite a good stack of 8 inch blocks and quite a good stack of 9 inch blocks and just a few 10 inch blocks. I experimented a little bit with some various ways to lay these blocks out. I was going to sew four of them together to make a mega block. And the layout I finally decided on, I can put two blocks together the exact same way and then just flip one set of two upside down to stitch them together in the middle. I encourage you, if you try this, to just play around with what you like, what looks good, what color combinations you want to use. I was trying not to get two of the same color family together on the same half of a block. Step one in making this big block is to sew two of my blocks together. Then I took two more blocks and sewed those together as well. Next, I took the two sets of two, put one on top of the other. I clipped that middle seam so it would match up when I stitched these together. Now it's time to chain piece these pairs together and then put the pairs together with the other pairs to make these big blocks. And here is what my finished blocks look like. I really like the way these blocks look just up next to each other. However, I think I will like them better if I do some white strip sashing around these blocks. Here you can see my finished blocks. On the left you see the 8 inch squares which came together into a 15 and a half inch finished block. 
The middle one was the 9 inch blocks and those came together into a 17 and a half inch finished block. And the ones on the right are the 10 inch squares and those came together into a 19 and a half inch finished block. And then I had some leftovers and I just made a random strip of uh, strips. Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you had as much fun as I did and I hope to see you back again real soon.